Hello and welcome to a, another art video. Um, this one is a Star Trek Discovery watercolor speed speed paint. This isn't really a speed paint. Kind of is. Anyway, um, initially this was just going to be a painting of sort of a space galaxy thing, and I was going to paint some stars and a moon and whatever um, to test out uh, my gold watercolors. But since the uh, finale of, well, it's, it will be out, um, the season finale of Star Trek Discovery after I post this, um, I thought I would paint the USS Discovery. So I started off by making the paper nice and damp. Um, I realised later that I had a little spray bottle which really helps with this step as it doesn't take so long, it's not so tedious. So I just built up the colour by dabbing the paint so it bled nicely in um, and the spray bottle actually can really help with this kind of technique because, because it makes the paint evenly wet across. So here I had to actually add some more water because I had a few kind of streaky patchy areas where I hadn't quite gotten the water on the page properly. first layer dry and I flipped my sketchbook around because I thought it looked better this way um, and then here I used the spray bottle because I remembered I had it to add another layer um, to build up the colour gradually and make it more and more vibrant and bright. color palette didn't actually have a pre-mixed purple color in the pan so I had to make one myself which always means that the color that you mix yourself is going to be a bit more watered down than the kind of pure pigments from the pans so I had to layer that up to get uh, the kind of rich color I wanted. So once it was all dry, I took some watered down uh, white acrylic paint to make the star texture. And so I've always used this technique where you load up one paintbrush and then you kind of whack it with the end of another paintbrush. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> my very trust tried and trusted technique betrayed me and it made a huge splodge fall on the page. And I don't know if it's because of the acrylic paint I'm using or because the type of paintbrush or that the canvas is so small. And yeah, I had to kind of, <laughs> my hands are like, ah! I had to quickly fix it and wipe it up as best as I could. And then I switched over to kind of just flicking it with my finger, which also works just as well. But yeah, I'm unsure about that disappointed that my technique didn't work. So 
So here I'm just sketching out um, the discovery. This step took longer than I thought it would actually because it was just quite difficult to see what I was drawing um, on the kind of, because the background is quite busy. So I had to make my pencil lines quite dark, which luckily I was able to erase them at the end, um, any of the ones that were sticking out still without rubbing up any of the color underneath. So the metallic colours I'm using are by Mozart Supplies and the palette is called the Komorebi Metallics palette. It has a really nice selection of colours and I was really impressed with it. Um, the colours don't need that much water to activate, They're, it's very pigmented, very shiny, just what you want in metallics and um, the texture once it's activated it makes this really beautiful like creamy thick paint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Um, the only issue was because I was trying to make such thin lines, I did have to kind of clean off my brush and add more water into it quite regularly as I wanted to get that detail and because it would the water would absorb into kind of the rest of the pan. So to keep uh, to keep the point of my brush uh, fine and able to paint these fine lines, I had to keep refreshing it with water. Um, which is not too much of an issue, and I think I'd expect it's the same with lots of other metallic watercolours as well. One thing I did notice is that this palette has a really strong smell um, and I don't know whether that's the brand or just a, I think it might just be a thing of metallic watercolours in general but as this is the only one I've ever used I can't say. But to me it smelled like kind of like poster paints that you'd use in primary school so it wasn't a bad smell but just surprised me as um, my regular watercolours don't have any smell at all. So that's the end of the video and here you can really see how shiny and metallic the colours are of the paint. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!